Hi everyone, my name is Melissa Bender and this is my workout for today. For today's workout, I'm going to show you a quick core workout. It's five exercises, they can be repeated. I'm going to bring you through them now, but we're going to work our abs from every angle. So the front of our abs, our obliques, and our back because it's all tied in. You need strength and support from every angle. Exercise number one is up down dog. So we're actually gonna add the chaturanga in here as well. Core pulls in tight. Feet go to the end of your mat and come into a plank position with your hands right below your shoulders. Core pulls in tight. From here, we're gonna lift our hips into a down dog. Heels stretch toward the ground, back is flat. Come forward into the plank. Chaturanga, elbows close to your body. Push forward onto your toes and look at the ceiling. Up dog, that's one. Straight back into down dog. Plank, chaturanga. Up dog, that's two. I'm gonna try and move my pants so you can see what I mean by rolling over the tops of your toes. We'll go through the chaturanga first onto the tops of your toes. I think my pants are too long. That's okay though. <laughs> that was three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. If it's too intense, you can lower your body all the way to the floor on the chaturanga. Rest yourself down, then push to up dog. You can even keep your hips down lower. That's four, five. That's six. Seven. Eight. Nine, last one. Ten. Okay, next we have a hydrant extension. So we're gonna work the muscles of the low back as well as some of the external muscles of your glutes. So come into an all fours position, core pulls in tight, knee is gonna stay bent and lift out sideways. So you should actually feel it in your obliques a little bit here too. Push the toe straight back behind you, knee still facing out, knee stretches down, slight lift, that's one. Bring the knee back in, out, back, down, slight lift, that's two, three, four, five, six, seven, Eight, nine, ten, other leg. So same thing on the other side. Knee stays bent, lifts out to the side. Knee facing sideways, turn it down, lift. That's one, two, three. Trying to remember to keep that core tight. It's hard to remember sometimes. Four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, next we have the three part core extension. So we're going to pull our core in tight. If you're just beginning, you might want to keep your head and your arms down on the floor. If you want to increase the challenge, pull the core tight, shoulder blades lift, 
arms extend, shoulders stay out of your ears, so keep them relaxed. We're going to stretch our legs out. We're going to go left, right, center, lift. That's one. Two. So this is really challenging the whole core. I'm shaking already. Three. Try and keep that low back on the floor. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine, last one. Ten. Okay, last exercise. It is a plank extension. This one is tough. If it's too intense, just hold a plank. You can either do it on extended arms or clasp your hands and do it on your forearms. But keep your elbows below your shoulders or your wrists below your shoulders. Okay, so for an extended plank, we're going to start in a regular plank, and then you're going to walk your hands out in front of you until you feel a challenge. The goal is to keep your core tight and in a straight line, so no sagging or lifting of the hips. I'm just going to time this one and see how long I can go. Um, for up to a minute. I'm not going to do more than that. I have my timer set and it moved. <laughs> okay, here we go. So I'm at the end of my mat, core pulls tight, and I'm going to walk my hands forward in front of me. Core is tight and working hard, body stays in a straight line. You should be able to breathe the whole time. And check, pick a distance that's challenging for you. Some people can do this with their nose barely an inch off the floor. I'm not there yet. <laughs> 20 seconds left to go. Last 10 seconds. There you have it. It's a very quick core workout, but it's very effective. You should definitely feel like you worked everything. So just keep this in mind. When you work your core, you want to work the muscles that go straight up and down. You want to work the side abs. You want to work your low back. And you want to um, also include the transverse abdominals, so these muscles that pull across. So it's not just one movement up and down. You want to hit it from every angle. So, that's my little tidbit for the day. Check out my blog, BenderFitness.com. Over 400 different workout videos are up there now, as well as recipes, tips for healthy living, running plans, <laughs> um, my half marathon training, which I just started. So, check it out. I hope to see you there, BenderFitness.com. See you guys tomorrow.